Yes, uh, I re for the unstable network, but of course we have a date today, and uh, we have no intention of uh, uh, postponing this broadcast, except when the situation is beyond our control. I say once again, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are, my audience around the world, I welcome you to this uh, edition of the seventh dimension the team home and family of course in our previous discussion we look at the issue of home and the family the family actually lives in the home and the home is referred to as one of the most important vital cells of human society in our previous discussion i made it clear to all of us that to get a good society, it starts from the home. To get a good home determines if your state will be good. And it transcends even into your country or your nation, as the case may be. It is the importance you place on the home that in fact influences every area of human life, whether physically or spiritually. But it's quite unfortunate that as we progress, as the world advances, we are gradually lay, laying aside the foundational principle that makes up the family. We are ignoring the rule that the family is meant to play in every society and human endeavor. But in the absence of us paying attention to this area of our life, it makes a nation go backward. It makes a community go backwards. And of course, we all know the end result. And so this evening, we are looking at a, 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 a brief study I titled Protecting the Future Simply Mean Protecting Your Family. If you say you are doing anything to protect the future, I think it is first of all a responsibility that you are called to protect your family. Let me remind us about a lot of challenges we are going through around the world. There are a lot of things happening, and it's as a result of not paying attention to the family. Whether you succeed spiritually or physically, they are all tied to your family. Our ancestors have made this very clear to us, and that is why in most cases they tell you charity begins at home. Today, we can begin to name some of the atrocities that are going on, some of the evils that are happening around us today. You can only trace its origin from a broken home. A broken home does not mean your father and your mother are divorced, husband and wife no longer live together. There are worst homes where you have the husband and wife living together, but they are worse than even single parents. And so we must understand in its totality what home represents and how it should be viewed, handled, and issues like that are managed. It is said in those days that a child belongs to the community, not the, the family, not the very home. This was a way of our ancestors making us to understand that building even every family does not depend on that home alone. It becomes the responsibility of all the society. And each time we neglect the need to pay attention in our family, it ushers us further into 
degenerated society as you can see today. Those of you in diaspora, I can assure you, most of you don't even know how to come home. It is not because of the state of insecurity within the country. It is not because you don't have a home to come back to. But you are afraid of so many things. You are afraid of the witches and the wizards. You are afraid of uh, kidnappers and bandits. You are afraid of uh, checking point, most especially when you are from Nigeria. You are virtually afraid of no drinking water. You are afraid of dilapidated road. You are afraid you are going to listen to generator sound for the rest of the month you are going to be around. And we can go on and begin to name them. But the truth that is that it boils down to one single reason. The family structure has been destroyed. Our values are no longer there. And what takes it away is in the absence of the family. It takes the family to rally around together. It takes the community to come together, put a family structure in place, which eventually makes the society to progress. As we speak today, young boys within the ages of 13 and 12 are walking about looking for where to do ritual, to make money. What are they doing with the money? Are we blaming that on the government of the day? They want to make money. Why are they so eager to do that? Because the society welcomes them. In the absence of the family, it is to be expected. We have young girls who want to make money. They are even growing worse than the men. This is not the fault of the government of the day. But of course, the government of the day, they all have their role to play. Because most governments of the world are deliberately destroying the family structure like I elaborated on in our last discussion. But then, if families decide to remain in that, most of these things will not happen. I came across a, 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 a video online today that was talking about a husband and wife who relocated from Europe to come home and settle, and then the man was killed by his brother just to claim their wealth, and after that, they killed the wife and some of these things, it's, it's, it's as a result of a failed family. And so this evening, we want to pay attention to the reason why we must protect our future by way of protecting our family. And we have to deal with the following areas in this discussion. Let us see how fast we can be able to, to go. Number one area we're going to focus is, first of all, the parents must protect the future by way of protecting their children. When we talk about protecting the future, it starts by the parents protecting their children. I want to look at the family as a group of three individuals, but it's more than it could be the father, the son, and a child, or more than one child. It could be inclusive of uncle, auntie, cousins, if you living in a home. It's a family. And now, in this family, you have elder woman and elder man. They should be referred to as the father of the house or the mother of the house. If we want to protect the future, these two people, you mother, you father, you have to play your role. What are your role? It is in your place to take care of the children. Most of all see children who are suffering, who we are supposed to take care of. We ignore them. We abandon them. Sometimes because they are not our biological children. Sometimes because we want to take advantage of them and use them. But the truth remains that how you treat these children eventually will determine how your future will be. Let me elaborate more. In this very era, as we speak, most of our people don't take care of their parents. 90% of young men do not take care of their mother or their father, not to talk of their uncle who trained them up or their auntie who brought them up. 
for so many reasons. And one of the major reasons is how you handle those kids. Let's look at some parents. You have a child who you notice his way of life is not normal. There are a lot of evil his activities he's been involved in in recent time. You cover them. That's especially our girl child. You ignore them. You think they are smart. You think it's okay. That is how it's supposed to be. It's painful some mother will even teach their daughter on how to razzle the man. You just get the money. You forget the consequences of what you are doing. Some fathers will encourage their sons to get involved in, 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 in fraudulent activities. And some will not train their children. Whatever you choose to do, if it is not geared towards one direction, laying down the basic foundational principles that will enable them face the society you dream of, you are just deceiving yourself and nobody else. Today, children don't take care of their parents because they don't even know who you are. I can assure you most of you have not even stayed and called your mother. For so many reasons because of the role that their parents have played. Some of you can't even call your father. Let's look at it this way. Some mother will sell their husband against their children. Yes, you heard me. Some mother will set their children against their husband. But whether it is deliberate, whether it is by mistake, I can't just place it. But most women do this. Little wonder will you hear sweet mother. You never hear sweet father. The man will go and walk from morning to night, the majority of the occasion. He comes back home with whatever he was able to make. He gives to the family administrator, who is the mother. And then when the mother is dishing out this money, he dishes it out in form of she's the one bringing it. In most cases, this is the message mothers pass to their children. And then your children, most children don't know how hard their father work to provide for the home. You see, your wife will tell your children, don't worry, when I get to the market, I will buy you shoes. Okay, when you come, before you come back from school, I will buy you food. Before, it's not bad you're saying it, but the impression you are creating is that you are the one doing it, not the husband. And now you begin to understand why most children who care for their parents will even think it towards that direction, remembering their father. It is applicable to the father who will not take time to sit his wife and his children down and talk sense into them. Sometimes you're too busy to take up your responsibility. Someone else will take it for you. And then you have children who just see you that he's a dad. And that is how. You don't have relationship. How many of you, father, will wake up one day and say, son, let's go and stroll? How many of you will take your son and say, let's go out? Let them see where you walk. Let them see how you live your life. Let them see what makes you great. Let them see your weakness. Let them know who you for who you are. How many of you will do that? Oh, you are a big guy. You don't play low. That's your son you are looking at. He was going to take over from you. In fact, it's you. If you know that that's your son and that your daughter is you, I want to believe you pay more attention in bringing them up the way that you will want the future to be. You are protecting the future already. Our ancestors understand this truth. That is why we were all molded in our mother's kitchen by our father's instruction. Every single child today, a black child out there who understand what it means to be principled, disciplined, were all molded in their mother's kitchen by their mother's instruction. And sometimes when the Bible say, listen to the instruction of your father, my son, and do not abandon the commandment, or rather listen to the commandment of your father, and do not neglect the instruction of your mother. And so if mothers really want their children to take care of them when they are old, 
you start it from now. Let me expand shit a little bit on mother-in-laws. The horrible thing that is coming from some daughter-in-law to their mother-in-law. When I mean mother-in-law, it is hardly for a man to maltreat his mother-in-law. And that, in this case, is the mother of his wife. It's very difficult. But in most cases, you have the daughter maltreating the mother of the husband. And you have a son. And you're thinking that when your son in future bring in another girl who is another person's daughter, that they will not treat you that way in their home because that your son is going to marry another woman. And now, from here, you can draw the link of what I'm trying to make you see. Because it's time we glamour for a better society. You that is glamouring for a better society, tell me what, how you're dealing with your home. I have grown-up children. One day, one of them, I was strolling with him. We haven't, you won't even know they are my children. And he said to me, Daddy, I know how to make money without struggling. And, and, and I said, how, how is that? He said, there is a way we do it online through Jumia and we do like this, we do like that. That is what my friend is doing. I'm planning to do like that. I allow him to finish. And at the end of the day, I say, so what do you call that kind of business now? A smile. I say, you should know the right thing to do. If you get involved in this, majority of your victims are going to be poor people like you. You're going to cause them pain. Their soul will cry out against you for the rest of your life. What, what will you gain? Those people work hard to make the money. And then you, you can use your Android phone and, and do fraud. And then I say, no, that is not what you should be thinking now. With this same Android, you can create a platform where you, 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 you sell your product genuinely. You can do genuine business without 419. And I talk to him, and I talk to him. We're just in. It's freely. Like, we are like friends. We are talking about involving in Yahoo Yahoo. And after a long time of discussion, he opened up. I was saying, okay, what of like this? What of like this? What of like this? I say, instead of you to use your brain and begin to look for who you do for one now, go and learn how to create a, 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 a virus. Go and learn how to create a lot of, I don't know how they call this scientifically anyway. You should be able to create a website. Create, when I mean virus, there are a kind of uh, 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 computer configuration. You can create, make those things. Look for what people need inside this Android. This is the power of the word in the palm of your hand. And then after all you can do with it is to defraud people that you think is best. I say imagine at the peak of your success, somebody do the same to you. How will you feel? I notice him. He was a bit calm. He was relieved. But believe me, if he does Yahoo Yahoo and he brought car, I will enjoy it. But you see, I was once like that in my father's house. When I was almost at the brink of making a mistake, a very horrible mistake, my father knew. He pretended he didn't know. He waited for me like five minutes to the atrocity. He came into my room. He said, I know what you're going to do. But let me tell you something. You see, in my family, we can be troublemaker. We can be, they can call us anything. But you never hear them call us criminal. It's not in our blood. And I hope you will understand. It didn't say more than that. And every day of my life, I remember that very day. Because he changed everything I would have been. But most of you welcome this idea. Oh, my son, he say Yahoo, Yahoo. He say Yahoo, Yahoo. And when they begin to cut off your head, you think it's going to end by cutting off your head? 
that your innocent blood, if it touches the earth here, it upset the balance. And this is the consequence of most of the things we are suffering as a people. As a black, most especially. You cannot defy the land with the blood of an innocent person and you expect it to yield its own fruit. It doesn't work that way. And so, if you want to protect the future, start it from the family. Parents, put eye on your children. Some of you say, no, I'm too poor. I can't cater for them. No. No matter how poor you are, as far as you have that mind to take care of your children, there is always availability of resources to do that. Where we lack in one thing, God make replacement in another. And that is why in most cases the world is not a bad competition. I, I, I took time one day to check how much I pay school fees every year. I have not had such amount of money in my account all my life. But this is what I've been spending every year for more than seven years. And honestly, I understand this truth before now. If you are listening, you think you are poor, please check how much they pay you on a monthly basis. And then take time and check what you spend on a monthly basis. You will discover that you will not be able to understand where the making up of the expenditure comes from. Because we all spend more than we earn. But somewhere along the line, the one who feeds the doves in the air does pay your bill without your knowledge. None of us have excuse to abandon our family. In most cases, in most cases, if you fail to do what you're supposed to do, someone else will do it for you. And then the youth are glamouring. I need a better future. How can the better future come when the future you are sitting around is built on disregard? Is built on your, in fact, your visionless. How many of you remember your parents? I hear excuses. My mother is late, and honestly, till she died, till she died, let's assume I didn't help her. But I knew at that age, she was always complaining of body pain, waist pain, chest pain, this pain. But I knew it is associated to old age. She was not that very old anyway. She died at the age of 68. My father is still alive, 90 something now, still very vibrant and active. But then in the case of my father, he knows how to take care of himself. But in the case of my mother, let's say a woman having uh, 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 10 children, you should understand. And so how could I help her? Is it to give her money that she want? No, she needed medical attention. And then I look for blood medicine. I always buy that for her. In fact, each time I call her, hey, my son, thank God you called. That my medicine is remaining for five days. Oh, please, 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 please. She does not want anything. That pain has to go away. You there, how are you taking care of your mother? She's still feeding you. Okay, okay, sorry, you are still 19 years. You are still 19 years. You are still small, don't worry, eat more. No. I'm sure you have girlfriend even at the age of 16. This is the time for you to begin to think how to help your parents. Because most of them, the condition they are today is because of you. You want a better future. There is something they can give to you that is more powerful than cash. Don't you understand? There is a lot of things they are going to give to you that is more powerful than cash. Uh, let's go this way. The first promise in the Bible that is attached to the blessing is for you, children. It says, honor your father and your mother. And then in our add blessing, so that your days will be long. There is no easy way to be blessed than to create the first blessing pavilion for yourself. And now, 
understand in this world nobody nobody will want you to be more successful than them forget about a lot of people who you don't know will really love you do not doubt that i love you i will see what i will do i will make you great i will do this i have seen people who have said that to me and they carry out their promises to the later and i'm grateful to all of them wherever they are but you see in my heart of heart nobody they can never love me more than my parents if your mother did not abort you if your father will forgo that trouser and pay your medical bill or other bills my brother in this life nobody will come out and say may you be greater than me this can only come from your parents and, and and so who are in the best position to bless you your pastor your pastor prayer will come to nothing because if you are not living by the biblical standard your pastor prayer will come to nothing and most especially when your pastor is not even in tune with the creator you are wasting your time but there is one man there only one person can wave his course that is god not even your pastor and then he will not curse you easily and god will not answer his prayer or his course easily it is your action that will activate it you don't know what it means to prosper i remember that very year i left home in search of a greener pasture to hustle as we consider it and then on my way coming back after many years of hustling very little to show and then i told my father everything how life have treated me and uh, i gave him what i bought for him and he would, like looked at it he stood up he take his two hand held my head he cried he prayed it, but, but, but it was not the crying it was not the praying he has felt all his life that i cannot struggle that is why he has to struggle and why would it be that he said open door before me and god honored it and i can assure you nobody can undo that nobody should i talk about my mother's blessing and now even though they don't want to everything around them give them that reason are you still the type your mother called send me one thousand send me two thousand and then you are struggling you don't need to wait it to get up to two thousand you must look for a way to bless your mother and your father except they don't want except they don't want this is your duty this is the portal to your own blessing this is the reason why most of the people are cursed what am i saying in other words as a young person you want to protect the future protecting of the future start from protecting your family and this is first of all your father and your mother your siblings are inclusive you should understand they are inclusive i have a friend who was fortunate to travel abroad and he took time and look at his younger ones and took care of all of them one of them was proving stubborn he called me he said i will have to leave this person who have tried to don't like do like this and do like that and behave like i say no if you have the power forget about how he's behaving you stop trying to control people because to that your guy he feels you want to control him because you have the money you can't control everybody and now you don't have it spend the money leave him with his character one day he will acknowledge that it is your weakness that has made him great he will acknowledge that you are just ruled by simplicity which is actually the strength of a man he listened to me he did that and all is well and so if you can't take care of your mother and your father is it me you will take care of and in the absence of my mother and my father because some of you will say i don't have mother i don't have father so there is no need now let me tell you you always have mother you always have father 
Look at those women around you. There are some that are not your mother, neither your father. But they care for you as much as your parents do. I encourage you. Put them on a payroll. I remember when my mother died. I had a little money I was sending to her every week. Every week I send a particular amount of money to her just for her upkeep. And when she died, I said, this money will have to be going to somebody. And I looked at all the people who came to her burial. And I chose to share that money among two women. One of them passed away um, some months ago this year. One of them is still alive. And then sometime, I, I, I know how many people are praying for me around the world. I know how many persons. In most cases, they depend. You're going to send them money. And I don't have. And then, even if it's two naira, I will say, Mama, hold this one. I don't have. And that moment, I have sent them to prayer. When I give them big money, I'm sure they don't pray for me. But you see, when I give them ten kubo, you begin to hear, they say, no, 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 this my son cannot, no, 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 it's not my son. They go to prayer. Imagine when you have mothers of mother that are not your mother, that are your mother praying for you. Who is the, who is that person? Who is that high priest? Who is that person? But they won't tell you this. They will not tell you this. They will ask you to destroy everything. And you see, when you finish destroying your family, you'll be left alone. And I can assure you, you don't exist. That is the overall truth. You don't exist in the end. And having considered this way, if the parents fail to train up their children to prepare them for the future, some of these consequences will happen to them. They have created room for their untimely death. If they fail to do that, they have built the atmosphere of regret for themselves. Eventually, everything they live for will be gone. While parents, you fail to train your children and organize them, <laughs> you are doing yourself. You are only building a future of regret for yourself. Nothing more. Now you see in the end, everything you live for is gone. But in the absence where the children fail to live up to their responsibility in creating room for the following, you, you will not be blessed by your parents. That means your family altar will be broken. None will speak for you. And this will make you vulnerable. A lot of people out there have problems challenges altar speaks for all of us altar speaks for all of us oh, let, let me go back to myself a little bit when my mother passed away i knew something was not right i knew god answered her prayer and you can see few months after my mother passed away I lost my younger brother in India. None of us have died. And then, uh, maybe uh, some months later again, I lost one of my brother again. But when my mother was alive, nobody has broken leg, no headache, nothing. And now her prayer was actually shielding most of us. But did we keep our altar intact? Her prayer is there because she's offering the prayer. But if you are not taking care of them, you do not have altar that speaks for you in that family. And in the absence of those who are praying for you, you are gone. It is like when you are a believer, you don't try to pray for yourself. You depend on your pastor to pray for you all the time. When your pastor is no longer around, you will be vulnerable. And now remember that I have seen my mother several times. 
Going to the corner of the house, she will hold her breast and say to God, I did not, I don't want to bury any of my child. None of them is a cripple. None of them is blind. You gave me perfect children. Any death that will take any of them, let that death take me. I think from the day I heard my mother made that prayer, I could even die in her place. But of course, that is not how I supposed to be anyway. And I believe that is why she left. And I think she has lived a fulfilled life. So you as a young person, you ignore your parents. Everything you are doing, you ignore your family. <laughs> Get ready for the consequence. It is not how far, but how well. It looks rosy. It looks there is no problem. You will get to a stage in life. If you have come across this broadcast and you have not followed the advice, you will see the great mistake you have done to yourself. Some of you may say, I do not have parents and so there is no need. My friend, there is need. I have told you already. And so in conclusion of this evening discussion, young and old, this advice is pay attention. Take care of your family. Let this union bring about the blessing of God upon all of you. All of your culture and tradition, they have reasons why they exist. All of you, you must play your role. You must play your role as a member of the family. And you will see doors of blessing will be open to all. You're having family challenges. You're having troubles in life. You're struggling to survive where others really succeed. And doors are open for others locked against you. There are solutions to that. And that brings me to the point where I need to make you understand. On this platform, the seventh dimension, you are free to present some of the challenges you're going through. The counselors will be there to advise you. And of course, you will be the solution to your problem. Because having a problem is one. Knowing the solution is another, and the application is there. There is a WhatsApp line on this very platform, this very page. Just symbols me there. So you can rule, live in dominion. You can rule in power that are all around you. There are certain things will be revealed to you in the future. You will understand that it is not by the arm of flesh. The Bible says no man will prevail. And it is not by your holiness or your righteousness. For they are all fitty right before God. But you see, those that are willing and obedient, they will eat the fat of the land. I'm not preaching Bible for you. I'm, these are our ancestral principle. When I see that everything they did, that guaranteed sources that they were able to achieve such great achievement and when i also see that the the bible foundation is being corrupt before our very eyes and nobody is saying it no man of god is seeing it i think i have to make a choice i have to make a stand and like i always say nobody will violate my conscience between me and my creator i know the truth already you know this truth don't let somebody tell you who God is. You discover that God that is in you. So this is not a place to entertain you. This is a place to free your mind, to free yourself from every evil that are linking around you. Because the days are evil, I can assure you. I would have allowed you to call in and make your contribution. But of course, with the limitation of uh, the gadget at our disposal, you will not be able to do that. And of course, try and follow this page. Try and follow this page. It will be shared to other page. Or try and follow them. 
like I said, no agent. We don't have any agent that you meet any agent. Because some people are already in the forum and bossing some persons for, to make money. No, this is not money oriented. This is empowering the people. Because in the end, knowledge is power. I remain George Unibi, and of course from our board data state. And at this moment, I thank you for being there. I pray that as we take this first step to approach this issue, parents, begin to reevaluate how you're taking care of your children. And then children, begin to think about how you are taking care of the adult. If we fail to take care of our parents, there will be no old people in our community in the nearest future. And by implication, being old will be only a blessing you can imagine. A man once told me, is it a sin now to be old? And I smiled and I said, this issue will be discussed someday. This having been said, we'll continue from another place. Always follow us for updates so you know what we're actually talking about. I sign off here, remain focused, remain your father's son, and remain, of course, your mother's sons and daughter. Goodbye.